Hey guys, welcome to How To Do Computers. I'm Mike, and today we'll be going over some initial configuration steps I usually perform after a clean install of Proxmox. This is a follow-up to my previous video where I go over how to install Proxmox. If you haven't seen that one, I'll make sure to link it down below. I'll also make sure to add any commands we end up using in this video in the description as well. So first, we'll talk about setting up storage on a computer that only has one drive available. Often, if I'm spinning up a test lab, I'll do it on a machine that just has the one hard drive. It's normally recommended that you have Proxmox installed on a separate drive from your other storage, but in some cases, you might not. We also covered this in our initial Proxmox install video, so if you follow that guide, or if you have a dedicated Proxmox drive, you can skip this portion. Later on, I'll be doing some different videos on configuring different types of storage, like adding NFS shares and creating ZFS pools going a lot more in depth on that sort of thing, but for now we'll stick with just the single hard drive. So we're logged into our Proxmox web interface. What we need to do is go to our data center and then storage, find local-lvm and just remove it. We'll go back to our node here and then go to shell to get to our system shell. And then we'll enter these commands, lv remove, space slash dev slash pve slash data hit y for yes and then we'll enter lv resize space dash l space plus 100 percent free all caps slash dev slash pve slash root and then one more resize 2fs space slash dev slash mapper slash pve dash root. All right, so the entire hard drive should be available to you. We'll do one more step here. Go back up to data center, then go to storage, find the local storage, then go to edit. And under content, we'll make sure that everything here is selected. Next, we'll go ahead and make sure that Proxmox is fully updated. First, we'll need to switch away from the enterprise repository, which we can't use since we don't have a license. Go ahead and go to your node, then go to updates, and then repositories. Click add, hit OK here. And then for the repository, we'll use the no subscription repository. Hit add. Now go to updates, hit refresh, and then OK here. Let that complete and then we'll hit upgrade. Hit Y, enter. All right, once that's complete, I like to reboot. So we will reboot and I'll get back to you after that's finished. So we have finished rebooting the server and if you've noticed, when we log in, we get this no valid subscription banner. I like to disable that. So in order to disable that, we'll need to SSH into the server, and I'll explain why in a moment. Let's go ahead and open up a command prompt. And then we're going to SSH root at 192.168.1.240. Yes. And then the password. Here we are, logged in as root. Now we'll change our working directory to cd slash usr slash share slash javascript slash proxmox dash widget dash toolkit. Then we'll make sure that our proxmoxlib.js is backed up. So we'll cp proxmoxlib.js proxmoxlib.js.bak. Now we'll edit nano proxmoxlib and here's why we're accessing via SSH. We need to hit control W to search for no valid subscription. And since this is a long file, we do need the search, but the control W shortcut with the browser, if you're accessing this through the web shell, 
We'll actually attempt to close the window rather than open the search function of nano. So here, in front of ext.message.show, we'll add void, parentheses, curly bracket, base, slash, slash. And then we will control O to save it, enter, and then control X to exit. Now we'll restart the web service, systemctl, space, restart, pve proxy dot service. All right, that's done. So now if you close your browser and then open it back up, go to our Proxmox server. When you log in, you shouldn't get that banner anymore. Moving forward, in some cases, you may want to give your Proxmox machine a DHCP address rather than a static IP. This is helpful if you bring the machine with you to other networks to sort of test on the go. And maybe you're virtualizing your network with something like a PFSense VM, much like I plan to do with this machine. You can use the web shell for this, but since we're already connected to the server via SSH, we'll go ahead and pull our command prompt back up, and then we'll change our working directory so cd slash etc slash network. And then we'll make a backup of our interfaces. So cp interfaces interfaces dot bak. Now we'll edit our interfaces with nano interfaces. Here under vmbr0, we'll change static to dhcp. And then we'll get rid of address and gateway. Control O to write, enter, and then Control X to exit. And then to restart your networking, systemctl, restart, networking. Do keep in mind that this will boot you out of all existing connections to the computer, and it will most likely reassign the machine a new DHCP address, which you'll have to get from either your router or from the physical machine itself. So once we've gone back and found out what our new IP is, we can close out of all of this and then connect to the machine again. Go ahead and log in. Next, we'll go ahead and upload some ISO images so that we're ready to deploy them on virtual machines. Go to your node and expand down to the storage. Go to your local storage and then over to ISO images. Hit upload. And then go to select file and find any ISOs that you want to upload. You'll have to do them one at a time. So I'll upload a few and then I'll get back to you once that's finished. As I'm uploading these, I'll also add here that if you're going to be working with Windows machines, I recommend getting the Vert IO drivers for Windows from Proxmox. I'll put a link to the ISO for this below. All right, we finished our initial configuration in Proxmox. We have some ISOs uploaded to mess around with, and we're ready to start spinning up some virtual machines. So that'll be all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if you run into any issues, and I will see you in the next video.